The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has warned political parties against the conduct of parallel primaries for the November 16th Ondo governorship election. The INEC chairman, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, gave the warning in Abuja at the INEC 2024 first quarterly meeting with leaders of political parties. Yakubu disclosed that so far, 16 out of 19 political parties had indicated interest in participating in the election, for which party primaries would hold from April to April 27th. He urged political parties to adhere strictly to their proposed dates and modes of primaries, noting that the frequent changes witnessed recently during the Edo primaries were not only disruptive but costly. He warned that the commission would not mobilize, demobilize, and remobilize its officials for the monitoring of party primaries at the convenience of political parties. According to him, parties should stick to their proposed date and modes of primaries for certainty and optimal deployment of resources. Political parties should avoid acrimonious primaries, increasingly now conduct of parallel primaries and emergence of multiple candidates is a frequent occurrence. Also is a tendency to grant waivers to candidates who were a few days earlier card carrying members of other political parties and nominating such persons to the commission as their candidates for election. The Yakobo also said the commission would soon release the dates for the rerun elections in Canada and Enugu states. Today's meeting is the first since the conclusion of the by-elections and court-ordered run elections held last month in 26 states of the Federation. With the exception of two states, Enugu and Kano, winners have emerged from the by-elections and the run elections. Again, like the 2023 general election, the recent by-elections and run elections also produced the most diverse outcome in terms of party representation. Seven political parties won elections in different national and state assembly constituencies. In some cases, parties won elections in constituencies outside their assumed strongholds. We congratulate the winners. However, as we are aware, elections were disrupted by thugs in Inugu South 1 state constituency of Inugu State and the Kunchi Sanyawa state constituency of Kano State. We are engaging with stakeholders, including the security agencies. Very soon, a new date will be announced for the rerun elections in the two state constituencies. The main focus of today's meeting is the off-cycle governorship elections in Edo and Ondo states. As we are aware, the two elections are holding later this year. The Edo state governorship election is holding in the next six months. That is on Saturday, 21st September 2024, while the Ondo state governorship election is holding in eight months. That is on Saturday, 16th November 2024. Already, party primaries for the Edo State Governorship elections have been concluded. By the timetable and schedule of activities for the election, political parties have 20 days to upload the list and personal particulars of their candidates to our dedicated portal. We have trained party liaison officers and established a help desk for political parties. The portal opened on 4th March 2024 and will automatically shut down at 6 p.m. on Saturday, 4th March 2024. 20, 20, 20, Two weeks later, only six parties have uploaded their nominations to the portal as at this morning. We urge you to keep to our schedule of activities and avoid last minute rush that may undermine your ability to successfully nominate your candidates. There will be no extension of time beyond the deadline already published in the timetable and schedule of activities for the election. 
In his remarks, the National Chairman Inter-Party Adversary Council, IPAC, Yusuf Dantale, pledged the Council's partnership with INEC and other stakeholders in the forthcoming Edo and Ondo governorship and subsequent polls. Mr. Dantale, who is also the chairman of the Aled People's Movement, APM, said under his leadership, IPAC would speak through to power as the platform that produced all elected public officers. He said that IPAC would ensure enforcement of the current code of conduct for political parties which would be reviewed to accommodate recent developments not captured he described lessons from the general and off cycle governorship elections as another opportunity to review and re-examine the constitution electoral act and regulations for the conduct of elections and make necessary amendments to strengthen the electoral process by this election too the dignity of the council has been restored IPAC stands as a formidable unifying platform for political parties, promoting dialogue and cooperation on crucial national issues with a view to, deep to deepening and strengthening democracy in Nigeria. This leadership of the Council is visionary, purposeful, vibrant, resourceful, accommodating, and will take IPAC to the next level in the quest for a strong, viral and united progressive prosperous, equitable, and just democratic nation citizens desire and deserve. Leaders of political parties now have a transformational executive that will always point the way forward in national rebirth, reorientation, reintegration of all marginalized compatriots. It will be a credible voice of the voiceless and will speak true to power as a platform that produces all elected public officers in the country. This is a patriotic duty to ensure rapid development of the nation and engage government at all levels in the delivery of democratic dividends to the people. Political party leadership, political party leadership dispute is strictly an internal affairs of the parties that should be resolved amicably with, uh, will ensure with the void of police harassment, embarrassment, intimidation, and brutality. IPAC will ensure enforcement of the current code of conduct for political parties, which will be reviewed to accommodate recent development not captured in the code of conduct. When leaders of political parties and uh, political office holders live up to their expectations, Nigerians will have a, a breath of fresh air in government. Reporting from Nigeria's state capital, Soibifa Jagridge, Top Accolade News.